how to harmonize a horn part, or any other part for that matter. I've written a trumpet part for autumn leaves as an accompaniment to the main melody. I want to harmonize this trumpet using the tenor saxophone. Now the easiest way of creating a reasonable sounding harmony part is to obey two simple rules. Firstly, harmonize mostly in thirds and sixths and then secondly, use notes that are in the associated chord or very closely related, ninths for example. So, in order to get a bit of a head start, I'm going to copy the whole of the trumpet part. So, I'll double, triple click it, one of the two, doesn't really matter if you double or triple click, you get everything then. And um, I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to select the first bar of where it's copied from, which is right at the beginning. And I'm going to paste it. Edit. Paste. Great, there it is. It's exactly the same. Now I'm being careful as I scroll back not to click on anything, so I keep it selected for the time being. Now then, the tenor is pitched quite a bit lower than the trumpet, so I'm going to harmonize it a sixth lower. So... All I'm going to do is use the down arrow key until everything's a sixth lower. So that first note here, which is a B flat, needs to be a D here. There it is. Now I know that everything is a sixth lower. This doesn't necessarily work exactly. I've got to now go through each note and check that they're all roughly right, that they fit to the chord or are close to the chord notes. So here I have a D in the harmony part, which is a ninth of C minor, so that'll work, as I said, a closely related note. And it falls to the C here, which uh, is um, just anticipating the F7 chord, so the C is fine, because that's in F7. Here, I have B flat, I have a C in the ninth, falling to the fifth B flat of E flat. That's the fifth. Then A7, now here it's not so good, I've got an A chord, and I've got a B flat, which is a flattened ninth, which doesn't sound great. And so I'm going to move the upper note and turn it into a C. Um, and it goes down to um, an A, which is fine, because that's in D7. It's the fifth of D7. And here, these are, for some reason, are G sharps, because, well, because it was in E natural. So I'm just going to turn those into naturals right there. There we go, it's the G naturals, which is fine, it's a root. Then it repeats, this is all good, so here's that C again, and here are those G's again. However you do this, you've got many ways, there are many ways of changing notes, uh, we've covered that in previous times. Okay, this is now the bridge, uh, since you went away. So you've got a C, and a B flat, which is a kind of a passing note, so that's fine. But the C, it starts on C, which is the third of A7. And this A sharp should really be an A natural to fit with the D7. Let's click that again. Okay, and then we've got this little riff here. B flat, yes, D, F, A is the ninth. G sharp, no. Let's get rid of that. And then we have B flat, D, that's fine, the 7th and ninth of C minor, and the 5th of F7. And then we have A, F, D, C, B flat. These are all great notes to go with B flat major, and the B flat is fine for E flat major. Okay, here we have A diminished. So here we have a, a G, F, and E flat, which is fine, because that's the 5th of A flat half diminished. Then we have a G, which is the seventh, and uh, this is a C, an A natural, A sharp rather, and it wants to be an A natural, obviously, A natural to go with D seven, and then a C, that's part of D seven, the seventh, D C C. Uh, this doesn't really want to be a C flat because it's F minor seven. It's anticipating, so let's just take that flat off, make it C natural. Or B flat, that's going to be all right. E flat, that's okay. Um, these are all right, but they're not the greatest harmonies ever. I mean, I might do something more along the lines of um, maybe make them 
make this a third of B flat 7 even though it's a fourth because it's a third and then this E flat you know it's E flat the bass is playing E flat I might want to do something like take it up to the third again and then this is all right and then D to C that's okay that's the seventh of E flat and then the third of A half diminished and this is perfect so now I have my full harmony part that's how you harmonize stuff or at least that's how I harmonize stuff find out more at www.susanmusic.co.uk